Hey, Christina, that's right. That call came in around 4 o'clock today. Deputies tell me there was a group of six people out on the lake near the Copper Mine Lodge area. Now, three were in a paddle boat, three were in a canoe. At some point, both of those boats became unusable. And breaking news out of Fayetteville, where police say a woman tried to rob a realtor at gunpoint earlier today. Here's a live look at the home on Hidden Valley Drive, where police say the incident happened. Guys, Bodie Dixon was actually already in the Washington County Jail when he was arrested on that second-degree murder charge today. UAPD says Dixon was arrested shortly after the original incident for violating his parole and for tampering with evidence. We do know the bomb squad is still on scene right now. We've been seeing them packing up. What we do know is that item was wrapped in tape, and police say it's an item you wouldn't normally find in a school parking lot. Hey, good evening, guys. Well, you can see it's still coming down out here. We have about an inch and a half, maybe two inches on the ground right now, and two inches more expected overnight. We do have some breaking news right now coming from our newsroom out of Springdale. That's where police say a person is dead after being hit by a driver. And as we mentioned, two trains colliding outside of West Fork in rural Washington County. You're looking at pictures from the Washington County Sheriff's Office as they responded to the accident. The train accident sending several people to local hospitals. And our coverage continues with Tevin Wooten live at just one of the hospitals where passengers were taken for treatment. Tevin, I understand you spoke to one of the victims tonight. 